A man can receive nothing lest it be given to him from above. That's the best Baptist sermon I ever heard in my life. A man can receive nothing lest it be given him from above. What's that mean? That these things are spiritual. And when the Holy Ghost begins to reveal, it will be Him revealing. It will be Him giving revelation. And Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. The church will be built on this, on this foundation of revealing. Paul said many times, talked about a mystery that has been revealed unto him. Who revealed it? Well, he didn't know anything about it before he got filled with the Holy Ghost and gave his life to Jesus. He didn't know anything about it. And he's one of the smartest men are going and Bible scholars, I mean, as far as the Old Testament and all those things. And he could tell you all the ins and outs and tell you everything about it, all of it. But he didn't have any revelation. But when the Spirit of God came on the inside, he began to receive revelation after revelation. And he said, in so many that if I'm not careful, I'm going to get exalted. He said, I begin to see. And I begin to write. And I'm writing to the church at Ephesus. And I'm seeing that, that God said before the foundation of the world, he'd predestinated that we'd all be in his son and we'd be holy and without blame. He said, These, he's making this mystery. This mystery had not been known to men. But he said, God has revealed it to me. He said he's revealed that there's going to be a middle wall of partition broken down and the Jew and the Gentile is going to come together and be one in Christ. Nobody knew that. All they knew is the Gentile was an outcast people considered as dogs and they'd never be a part of the kingdom. But Paul said, not so. It's being revealed unto me. And now Jesus said, Paul, I'm going to send you to the Gentiles. Well, that's a, he hated that. I mean, before he would have hated that. I'm not going to a Gentile. I barely can stand the church here. You know? <laughs> before I'm talking about. If I even hear of a, the, someone breathing out, Christian said, I'm going after them. I'm going to stop this movement. Well, amen. But not after God got a hold of him. He said, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, he said. Oh, he said, I've been wrong. Oh. Talking about making a believer out of somebody. Somebody that don't believe in Jesus, David. To the point, to the point, I'm going to back up where we began and we'll quit. To the point that he was going to put people to death because he did not believe in this Jesus and the resurrection of the dead. And all of a sudden, one day you're going down the road and a big light appears to you and, and a voice comes out and says, Paul, or Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Me? Jesus is the same. It's the same. The body is him. We are the body of Christ. Paul said, who is it, Lord? <laughs> Who are you? He said, I'm Jesus. <laughs> he said, I'm Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I'm Jesus. Well, I guess you believe in him now, don't you? He's talking to you. <laughs> Amen. I made one of the greatest men ever known. One of the greatest apostles known in this book. Received more revelation than any of them, in my opinion. And he turned wholeheartedly to God and was an enemy to him. I think that's awesome. And if anyone was qualified to talk about grace, it was him. He was qualified. 
Amen. His life had been a shamble as far as God's concerned. And he was qualified. Amen. Amen. And he knew what it was. And he brought the grace of God to us. Amen. John, can you come finish this up here about 10 minutes? I was going to give you more time than that, brother, but... And I'm still not done, but I'm going to quit. I'm not done, but I'm going to quit. But now we need to get our minds renewed to God's Word now. If we want to be transformed, and, to, and here's the key, and listen to this, to prove, prove, I'm interested in that, proving what is the good and acceptable. Now that means there's some things that's not good. There mean, means there's some things that's not acceptable. And it means there's some things that are not perfect concerning God. So what are they? We got to figure them out. And we got to prove what is all the good in this and what is the will of God. Amen.